Go. Hello, my name is Mert Peckerel. I'm the inventor of the Fibonacci engine technology. Today I would like to share with you two points that are very important about the technology. One is the mathematical ratio upon which this engine is built. As you may note, and it may, not, it may be difficult to see it, but the rotor inside is offset to the housing. And that ratio is a specific ratio of offset. It's called the Fibonacci ratio. We see it throughout creation. We see that ratio in such a device, say for example, uh, such an item as the Fibonacci or the Nautilus shell. And that ratio is critical to the engine design. Here's another simple illustration to illustrate it. Here's a coffee can. Here's another type of can. And when I put this can inside of the can, what you see is an offset. If this ratio was from 1 to 1.618, that would be the Fibonacci ratio. That is the design inside of this engine. Let me cover another point with you today concerning the engine. Let's talk about the size of the engine in comparison to horsepower to weight ratio. If you were to take two coffee cans this size and put them together, you would have the twin rotor Fibonacci engine system where you have a full 360 power stroke and a powerful, powerful engine. Uh, the weight to horsepower ratio would be very low in comparison to the horsepower output of the engine. With massive torque at zero RPM, it would move a very large truck. This configuration with a twin rotor engine then would go inside of, say, a five-gallon bucket. We'll cover that at another time. That's called the heat shroud. What I'd like to finish up with today is what is connected inside of the engine that makes it work. And what makes it work is a sliding vane. The sliding vane it fits inside, it fits into the rotor vane slot in the engine. So, and the vanes slide in and out of the rotor. And when they slide in and out of the rotor, they form chambers. The chamber shapes have the configuration of the Fibonacci ratio. So that if chamber one is a, let's say it's a certain cubic uh, inches, chamber two will be one, a little over one and a half the cubic inches of chamber one. This particular item called the vein has at least two patents now that have issued. And among other functions that it has, it has the function of a lever inside. And it has the function of a seal. It has the function of a valve. It has some other functions when we get into the higher end technologies where it actually functions as an electromagneto hydrodynamic generator. This, in, this, this vein actually becomes an engine within the engine, which is a remarkable functionality as well. So today we'd like to get, again review what we've covered. We've covered the size of the engine. You have a twin rotor engine configuration where the, there'd be about the size of two coffee cans sitting inside of a five gallon bucket. The five gallon bucket would be your heat shroud. And inside of the housing of the engine you would have a rotor. And in the, in the rotor you have six veins that slide in and out. The size of the vein in the twin rotor engine is the size of this piece of paper, which is a two inch by three inch piece of paper. It's about uh, in a, a half inch thick, and it's made of a specialized type of plastic called uh, Torlon. That's a brand name. It's similar to peak material made by Dow. Torlon is made by Solvay Selexis. This material is very, very strong. It's non-conductive. It can be impregnated with silicon so that the engine itself becomes a self-lubricating engine. Thanks for your time today and check back with us our website www.fibonacci-motors.com.